All right, let's begin section 1.2, compound interest. Little bit of words here. As it says there, simple interest is only for um, when you compute interest once for the, uh, the entire length of the loan. It is not generally used for your day-to-day -day operations, uh, for your like your savings and your checking accounts. Uh, those are different types of interest. That's what we'll do in this section. Uh, we will see simple interest a couple other times, but the big thing is the interest is only being computed once, whereas for a typical savings account, you might in earn interest every month, every quarter, depends on the scenario. So if it says simple or if it's implied that the interest is only being computed once for the entire period, then that's simple interest. Otherwise, you got yourself a different formula. Now our first example here, which is labeled developing the compound interest formula, we're going to derive the compound interest formula before we actually write out what the formula is. This next video is demonstrative purposes only. We're never going to derive another formula. Oh, maybe. Um, the book does do a lot of derivations. I don't want you to worry about that. Just understand again when and how to use each formula. Uh, and if you have questions, please let me know. All right. Enjoy the next video.